Hey everyone, I'm going to be installing this GTA car kit, Bluetooth kit for uh, a 2009 Prius. So we're looking at uh, it's part PBT2 Toyota and um, it's, it's going to tie into the current radio and uh, we're going to give this a try. I've got an hour to do this so let's hope we can get it done. i got a few pry tools and we're going to install it in on the back of the radio here. Now, if you watch my previous video, I'd, I'd taken apart the whole dash, so I know it's on the back side of the radio on this side here. So we're gonna pull off this vent, we're gonna pull off the, the lower the, the side um, uh, glove compartment, and hopefully I can reach in behind and uh, do that, and I will give you a picture of where it ties into the back of the radio as well. So taking out the uh, glove compartment is as simple as taking this, Pulling the sides over here, pull this, drops down, pulls out, and put aside. Take off the vent. It looks like I'm going to have a problem with it. There's not a whole lot of room in the side there. So let's pull this off. I've got a pry tool here. So you should be able to pull this off. back so I've got access to the back of the radio here and let's see if I can get my hand in there and uh, connect to that cable all right let's give that a try just to make some room I'm just gonna pull the bottom out of the cowling so there's a probably a couple clips on the side here if you take a look at it mine are gone mine just pull straight out and I should be able to get in from the back side of the radio there's your AC adapter unplug that so it's out of my way I'm going to probably pull off this, this other side too, since it's not a whole lot of work to get it out. I'm just going to get in there. So anyway, I'm going to pull that off straight back, okay? Okay, so I decided to uh, pull out the side vent over here because I couldn't free up this vent because it's got the tabs on the side here. So you need the top to come out. So on the bottom there, there's a, when you pull it out, there's a, there's a Phillips screw here and a 10 millimeter there. This whole mechanism pulls out. You're going to have to come in here to pull off the side pillar to get the microphone. So I've opened up the kit so this is the plug-in it's going to go back of the radio it's got a, a bluetooth microphone and uh, i've opened the box so uh, next steps is i'm going to open up the pilot with a pillar here there's a bit of a trick with a pair of pliers we just got to get this piece out here so just again pry tool it pulls out and now we need to get the this pilaster off and uh so Again, it could just, I'm going to do some prying. So there it pulls off, and there's a a, uh, a clip that you got to use a pair of lean to lows pliers that you got to go in and twist and turn the little tab. I'll show you what it looks like. Twist and turn, and then it pulls off. Okay. So I turned it. And then you pull it out of the square tab, and then you've got the pilaster here that will just come up. Because we're gonna need to get that out in order to put the microphone up in here. So next steps, let's plug stuff in. Oh, and by the way, two screws hold this baby in. There's uh there are two tens, one there and one there. It just lifts up and turns away. You can get to the back of the radio through here now. So, so we're going to run the lines. So the uh, plug-in is there, it's going to go in this way, and it's next to the other uh, cable tray. So I'm going to fit in through here, feel down, there's a socket, and a vacant socket next to the current harness that's back there. I can reach it, and it should just plug in beside that one there. I don't know if I can, you're going to be able to see it. 
probably not. But anyway, I will, um, I'm going to just feel for that. If not, I'm going to have to pull a radio. I to pull a radio. There's two Phillips screws that go in the side here, one on each side. This whole thing just pulls straight out. And now I've got the four screws for the radio. There's uh, two on the bottom, two, and then the, the, the two on the top two corners pull that out it's probably easiest to do it that way uh, it's just easier to pull the four bolts out and uh, now you can see that I'm gonna plug in over here with my my sound bore so it makes it a little bit easier to get all the the cabling and uh, done so here I'm gonna just plug in so here we got the, the fitting and it's going to go in there and it's in so that's our connection which gives us a RS-232 connector to the GTA car kits there's the uh, RS-232 with some USB inputs a bunch of uh, uh, there's a aux cable and we're gonna have to plug in our microphone We've got the inputs that are going to be for the microphone and, um, and control. So um, this, these are the back side of all of this. So I'm going to, I think, put it into the, into the compartment for uh, the lower section so you can access the unit from uh, inside or outside the car in that lower uh, pocket. So I'm going to put a hole, I think, right there. Probably not a good idea to have it all hooked up like that. Oh, it's okay. Here we go. Okay. So I drilled a hole in the back. It's going to make it a little bit easier for me to get the wiring harness back and forth. And I'm just going to plug in here. And it'll make it a little bit easier for me to uh, bring the cabling and if I want to do any other connections uh, you will see it when it's finished okay so I'm just putting in the Bluetooth microphone and running the wire the mic wire down I guess I do need to pull the dash I've run the cable through and back and it's hanging down here so I'm gonna plug this baby in um, into the uh, mic input on the unit so assembly continuing okay the radio is back in there's a hole that is drilled in there so that the cable comes in I've plugged in my microphone my hogs cable go in there I'm gonna set it all inside here and um, so like so there's four screws one two three four at the bottom of your radio that re reattaches it so let's tighten that up and let's continue with reassembly the, this cover in here I've been putting that back in so and there's there's two screws one on each side over here with the Phillips all right we'll put those back in and we'll continue now put in the two bolts on each side for the console here that they, they, there's two uh, 10 millimeters let's get the uh, the front module back in it just slides in before you can put the center vent in so now that bolts back in and this one's back in here and now it doesn't matter just reassembling the dash which is pretty straightforward it just clips and pushes in and we're gonna do that next okay so we've clipped in the dash pieces fit them in this all slid in uh, look for your tabs push them in and then there's two screws one here and one there tighten those babies up and then you just put the last vent in and we're done and the last piece of course is to plug in your uh, 12 volt adapter which will be just make sure that it uh, plugs in mine seems to be pretty loose but it goes in pretty straightforward you know and then all you do is just make sure it plugs in and 
and then it'll just slide in underneath and we're done. So just a matter of putting a screw in there to hold that in. That's in. So our, our car kit is ready to program and we just got to put our glove box back in which is a pretty straightforward uh, piece. As you can see you can get to your uh, filter if you need to change it. It just pushes in there and done. So took me about an hour a little over an hour to do this probably been faster if I wasn't videotaping it but uh, looks pretty straightforward fits in here plug in my USB I got the microphone set up over there so let's give this a try